YouTube, hi, it's Dominic Izzo with Izzo Tactical Combat Martial Arts, and if you know who this gentleman is, this, <laughs> this was my surprise phone call for class today. Uh, Sifu Jin Young was unbelievably nice to come out to class. Uh, the China Boxer uh, YouTube channel, if you're into Wing Chun, then you know who this gentleman is. Um, I asked him to address a question that I got on uh, one of my uh, YouTube videos about um, wrestling, and the statement I made was that, in my opinion, wrestling is not a controlling martial art. The statement that was made is that, that from this, uh, this is from, I can't pronounce this, Asterillo 711, Wing Chun is not a controlling martial mm -hmm. art, he questions me. Uh, in our system, we follow the three C's, uh, connect, conform, and control. Without all these three intact, uh, blending uh, cannot occur smoothly. These concepts are used to integrate offense and defense, striking is easy, learning how to control someone and defend someone through uh, your defend yourself through app applicable technique is the real challenge and goal. Sensitivity tells us three things. What technique to use, what technique to use, when to use it, and the amount of energy to use it. So I'm going to have um, Jin explain that to us. <clears throat> uh, I think I agree with everything that that, that person uh, commented and said, right? But you also have to look at it. I look at it like from, uh, like, where is that person's training at? Uh, connect. I, like I said, I hundred percent agree with that. But it, it's it's uh, Wing Chun is all about development of skill, and it depends on where you're at in your training. What that statement could mean. Uh, I, I'm just seeing that quote, and I'm and I'm perceiving it from where I'm at. Uh, and it sounds right to me, right? But there's things that, uh, it all depends on the commenter's understanding or you reading that comment, your understanding of what he's trying to say. Uh, connect, it's a great word, connect, okay? Connect is all about how to kind of align your structure. Uh, but then again, it's like that word, uh, it's like peeling an onion. When, I, when you first start Wing Chun, I say connect, right? And you understand it from maybe that outside layer. You say, oh, okay, yeah, I connect, yeah, connect, connect all this, my elbow, my hip, right? Uh, but as you're training and you're developing, right, it's like peeling an onion. Then that uh, the, the next next the, then all of a sudden that that word connect means something else. It has a deeper kind of understanding, and then e even more you keep peeling the onion, and that word even takes on an even more important meaning or deeper meaning. This is how come I say Wing Chun, your knowledge should be deep, not wide. Right. So that word connect is absolutely very important, and uh, and uh, and control and. And uh, you know, I think what is the other one? Connect control and, and uh, it, sensitivity or something like that. Right. Right. Um, and like I said, I, I I agree with that. That that makes complete sense to me. Connect, conform, and control. Conform. Okay, conform. That's that's interesting. Okay. But what does that mean? Do I conform with my body? Do I conform with my arm? You understand? Do I conform with both? It all depends on your understanding at that time. So Wing Chun is not it, it, it just one thing. There's not a lot to teach. It's just the development of skill. And where are you at in that development? That's it. And then those words are going to mean different things, right? So uh, like we trained a little bit today, right? The connection, right? So uh, connect, right? So let's say you do a uh, Silam Tao, you stay connected, right? Yeah, okay. The, the first thing is that if, if he has one arm out, okay, if his shoulder alignment is popped out, like, he, yeah, he pulled it back, it out, then he, he's already not connected, right? So he has to go only to the extent of the arm. His arm, his elbow has to be in to what I call on the rail, which is one fist away and into the, towards the center line, right? Uh, then he can, if I give him some pressure, he can, he can stop this movement. He can, he can, start to res resist his movement, okay? But you go, oh, okay, right? But let's say I give him some more pressure, right? And he goes to connect, see? Okay, something happened. You did all these things. 
Huh? But something didn't work. So you try again. See? And that's why I say Wing Chun is problem solving. I give you a new problem. You go, man, I thought I knew connection. Okay? Then I go, okay, well, now when you do this movement and you come to this to this alignment, don't look, yep, elbow in. Right? Now I tell you, see the opposite hip, opposite hip. Connect that hip to that elbow and support it just a little bit. So you both of your hips go forward and then favor that, that opposite side a little bit more than your other side and have it under, underneath that elbow. Right? And then what does that do? That helps you do what? Use both sides that we always talk about. Right? So now if I give him pressure and he uses the opposite side, See, now I give him more pressure. He can handle it now. You good? So now, oh, okay. So now I have to connect also the body, right? To generate, to, to, to diffuse that pressure into the ground, right? You understand what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? Okay. So that's why I said is, is when I read that comment, I'm, I'm seeing it from my point of view. And he's right. Mm -hmm. But... That doesn't mean that you or, on the, uh, 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 or that commenter, I don't know your, your, your training background, right? So when they put up that comment, I really don't understand. Maybe he, maybe he does understand it. Maybe he only know, understands just the, 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 the arm position, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and he doesn't, not, uh, try it, try it. Try opposite hip. And then you go, oh, if you use the same side hip, see this hip to stop this pressure now, right? See, he can't do it. Why? Because he shuts off the other half of his body. Okay? It becomes very easy. That's it. So once he generates that hip, he's now using both sides of his body. See? Now, now I can't, now I, it becomes harder for me to, to give him pressure. Okay? Now he's still a little bit leaning. I can feel him leaning. But it's okay. Like I said, it, step by step, you keep improving that understanding of that word, connection. Conform, conform what? Say, you understand? So it, 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 it's he's right, but he's not right for everyone. Say, and it, and it all just depends on where you're at in your training. Could he be talking? If he's talking about the external side of it, where you are connecting, conforming to me mm -hmm. in my translation of that, I don't ever want to. And we experienced that today. I don't want to forcefully and willfully try to conform against you because I lose every time. So that's me trying to force shapes, to make shapes, to adhere to you and connect to you. I think that's what he was trying to say when I said Wing Chun's an attacking art. Mm -hmm. And then somebody says, well, no, you control. I don't understand how you can control right. while somebody's being aggressive in on you without you right. suffering the consequence. Right. Okay. That all has to do with that kind of elusive word, which is forward intent. Right. I, 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 we talked about the big dog and the leash mm -hmm. today, right? Okay and how important that is. And that, when you do it right, then it creates what? Forward intent, intent right. right? That means you are controlling me by attacking, right? But it's a conforming also. But the conforming and the, con uh, the conforming, when I, when I do it to you, I, I'm not aware of it. Mm -hmm. See, this is the thing. I'm not aware that I'm conforming. My arms just conform because I have forward intent, because I'm attacking. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. So, like I said, you guys are both right. But it all depends on where you're at in your level of training. How deep do you understand uh, that conversation? You know? I mean, I have a, uh, you know, I have a, a, a deep conversation of physics with, 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 uh, Who's the guy in the wheelchair? The hockey? What's his name? Uh, the the talks like a robot in his voice. He sits in a wheelchair. The physics. Oh, Stephen Hawking. Yes. yes. <laughs> I have yeah. a I have a discussion with Stephen Hawking on quantum physics. You think I'm going to understand the point to he to to, to the level that he does? There's absolutely no way, right? You understand? Mm -hmm. So it just depends on where is my training. I mean, I'm still at you know basic. Science. He, he he's like off on planet zero, wondering how you know <laughs> that is completely different to him. You know, uh, so 
like I said, it, it all depends on uh, where you're at, okay? Mm -hmm. But conforming, but hopefully when we did some, we did some chi sao today, you felt one, the importance of chi sao. Mm -hmm. You can't neglect it. But it can't be the meat and potatoes. Right. It's the meat and potatoes, and you're also your Wing Chun is, is out of there, right? But you, 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 every time I touch, you feel I'm attacking you, mm -hmm. right? But not bullying you. Right. And I'm conforming to you, but I'm not pushy. Right. right? Like and I'm controlling you without effort. Mm -hmm. And I'm only doing one thing. Attack. Yes. <laughs> Attack. Right. So th th that's why I said it, it's it's right. It's, it all depends on where you're at in your training, though. Okay. You don't want to jump the gun. And skill is it, it builds on on each layer of of of, of your knowledge. And it's like peeling the onion. I say eventually you get to the to the to the center, but uh, you can't let you you can't shortcut the skill. You have to go through the process of peeling the onion, right? So when you get to the core, you go, ah, oh, I get it. Okay, that those three words, I get it, mm -hmm. right? You understand? I felt it today. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm in town to visit my family. It was great to 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 train. Surprise text and phone call today. <laughs> I wanted to come because I'm also a fan of his 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 uh, tutorial and his videos, and uh, I thought uh, I would come down and uh, and uh, do a little training, and uh, it was a. Uh, I hope you had a great experience. It was a very, very outstanding experience for me. <laughs> so I can't uh, thank uh, you enough for coming out here today. Uh, no, no, um, no. TheChinaBoxer.com is on YouTube. Uh, one of my favorite references to go to, one of the most intelligent uh, YouTube uh, tutorials to go to. Um, just a wealth of knowledge that is uh, unbelievably kindly given to us. Uh, in the Wing Chun community, and if you're not familiar with it, and you're interested in Wing Chun, it's it's a it's a necessity that you go there. That's where you're going to learn uh, more than um, I would say more than anywhere else from uh, from YouTube and there. So again, thank you for so much for coming out. Um, this has been an unbelievable pleasure for me, and uh, YouTube will see you on the next video.